Hello and welcome to this episode of this video on how to what we're going to be doing. Um, we'll be upgrading the RAM for Lenovo IdeaPad 330. So, what are the requirements? First of all, we need a RAM. This is a RAM of 4 GB. Mine initially came in with um, about 6 GB, which is expandable. So, I want to remove there is one 4 GB of RAM inside and a 2 GB. So I want to remove the 2 GB and add this 4 GB to make it a total of 8 GB. So we need a RAM and also a screwdriver of this kind and a little, this plastic, I don't know the name for this. I got it from my guitar kit I bought recently. So let's start by removing all the um, screws. This is the last screw remaining. This screw, this is what um, holds the optical drive. So we also have to remove the optical drive, which is the CD ROM. So what are we going to do next? We we'll have to take out the optical drive. You can just put your finger into the corners and pull it out, just like. And take it out, keep it safe. Then, this is where we are going to need the plastic. So, you shove this plastic into the corners like this, and you gradually open it. And see it's opening. You take it around. Okay, let's take this side to the end. And take the other edges. to see okay it's almost done i think some of the edges are still closed then you can take out the cover and keep it safe so so now here is the laptop open so this is the RAM over here. So to remove the RAM, you slide the two edges and it pops out. As you can see, this is the 2 GB RAM, which we want to upgrade to 4. It has an input of 4 GB. So now we want to add another 4 GB to it. So you slide it, there is um, there's an opening here. And over here, you can see here to fix it in. Just slide it in. So something happened while I was trying to change the RAM, like this was the 2GB we removed and this was the 4GB I was trying to put, but now it couldn't fit in. Why? Because we have different types of RAM. The RAM that was there before was DDR4 and I was trying to put a DDR3 RAM, which is impossible, it can't fit in. So what happened, I had to quickly go out and buy a new DDR4 RAM, as you can see it's DDR4 and this time it's 8 GB. So let's try to fix the new RAM. So you open the RAM, take it out. So like this was the opening I showed you in the other one. And this is where it's going to fit in. So you place it in like this and make sure the opening is facing that pointed part then you push it in 
and press it down. That's it. You've just fixed the new RAM. So what next? Let's couple back our laptop. Take back the cover. And fix it back. This is the easiest part. So that's it, it's closed. So let's put back our optical drive. Oh, which is the right way. Get like this. Uh oh, I think that's the wrong way. Yeah, this is the right way. So let's take back our screws and fix everything back. So let's return the laptop and see. I'm currently running Ubuntu. So now let's check if it worked. Should be a total of, yeah. So here you can see, I have 11.6 GB of memory. So which means it worked. So that's where we are going to end this video. So I successfully installed a new RAM and our memory is upgraded. Our old memory was 6 GB, but now it's meant to be 12. The four that was inbuilt and the new 8 GB we just bought, but for some kind of reasons, I think the, uh, it showed 11.6. So this is where we are going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching this video.